what is pi and how does pi originate you know, it's such a fundamental aspect of mathematics and the formula of a circle um, the 2 pi r the pi r squared and the four, th four thirds pi r cubed um, you know there are ways in which I guess the the mathematics could kind of underpin the generation of pi. <clears throat> what I've uh, found in the model is a, a process where pi is actually part of a differential velocity process. So how pi is formed by nature and the the particle kind of formation in terms of matter antimatter symmetry that's really what I want to kind of kind of dig into in terms of pi and its connection to dark matter formation uh, but I won't go to that level I'll just try to stick with the mathematical calculations associated with pi as a differential velocity in meters per second so we have a very kind of well-known mathematical model um, in terms of the area and the surface area and the circumference and the aspects of you know a circle and a sphere in, in terms of surface area to volume etc but what I what I found in this this model that I've been developing um, which is a, a singularity model right a model that identifies different velocities based on a, a, a mathematical approach to look at um, the, the conservation of energy processes that the universe uses so if we keep in mind the idea that conservation of energy um, which we kind of discussed regarding the parity processes so conservation of energy means that every action has an equal and opposite reaction but there's a little bit of a twist on that so to speak where the conservation of energy laws is actually aligned with inverse square law so the idea is that there's a, a velocity of expansion which is v and then there's a velocity of implosion um, which is going inward toward each other and that's at a square root velocity of v and so the square root velocity of v times the square root velocity of v is obviously equal to v and you know we have a two going out and a four going in so v squared equals um, the square root of v to the power of four um, and and so if we kind of just break that down into the individual components we know that there's an outcome where we think that the velocity of the speed of light c is the fastest thing in the universe so in the inward kind of implosive process we would therefore think that the square root of c would be the fastest thing and what i'm what i'm saying is yeah i have a mathematical approach that allows me to convert distance into velocity and that's biologically relevant um, and the mathematics allows me to then look at how pi is being able to be generated by differential velocities related to the initial velocity the square root of v and the final velocity square root of c so the square root of v plus one over alpha and, and this one over alpha fine structure constant we kind of caught a glimpse of it before in terms of the that black line between the red line and blue line and that electron surface area so we're saying that the 
the alpha fine structure constant is important here as well in the formation of the pi particle um, and yeah we can we can generate the the number pi on the basis of differential velocities so the number of the that i get for the square root of v is is determined based on the velocity of uh, the expansion of the universe so i have a i guess a cosmological connection based on the original velocity and how that relates to the generation of pi and as we kind of looked at before we we have a model that takes us uh, looking at how two circles come together to produce a surface area charge of the electron and then the surface area to volume ratio allowing the the three and one ratio of the quarks three in the middle and the nucleus and the uh, one electron on the outside so this is another kind of piece of that puzzle where i'm really kind of relating the pi aspect of those calculations into a relative differential velocity that originates from the processes happening in cosmology so again this is another step along the i guess the pathway where the cos the, or the universe the cosmological processes are involved in forming particles and the mathematics associated with that is outlined in in this calculation you know so what we do see is the formation of four particles traveling in and 12 particles traveling out in a three and one ratio um, and those relate to the formation of dark energy and dark matter in the early universe but that that links back to a model that i we presenting at a later date but as you can see we can get the mathematical calculations based on differential velocity to give us pi and that kind of feeds into the the structural aspects of electron charge